Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, then welcome. So today is wash day, so I'm about to detangle these very, very matted dry curls. If you are new to my channel, my hair goes above and beyond the realm of tangled. I don't usually have tangles. My hair is usually some form of matted. This is the norm for me. Even when my hair was relaxed, it tangled up like crazy, even with it being brushed and combed every day. So that's just a unique <laughs> part of my my hair's properties unfortunately for me and my arms so today I'm really excited because I'm gonna be trying a brand new product to detangle that is totally different than my normal detangling process and as you can see I'm gonna be relying on it for some major tangles so usually I will combine a conditioner and my slip booster like the one on the right here in the blue to detangle my hair and I love them but today I'm gonna to be using the curls and potions rice water and acai pre-cleanse primer it's supposed to detangle for hassle-free shampooing and the ingredients to the description sound absolutely amazing so I was very much looking forward to it and I was looking for some miracle work so with this video not only am I going to be reviewing this new detangling product but I'm going to be doing a nitty-gritty deep dive how my hair goes when it's detangling time as you can see I'm not cutting out my ouchy faces usually I will edit around them but this time I'm fully embracing the process by the way this stuff smells absolutely amazing I got so many compliments when using this product the texture of it is fantastic I have low porosity as we've already discussed very very tangled curls and the texture of this blew me away as you can see the moment I put this stuff in my hair, it was like magic. Usually my detangling process, as you will see, is very, very in-depth. It's a lot of process to get these tangles out of here. So usually I will apply a product and I have to slowly work it in to get it on my hair and start to work out the layers of tangles. But with this, with one coating, I was starting to notice an immediate difference. My hair was starting to unbunch at the roots. The matting was definitely being helped along with this big time. And I was thoroughly impressed from the first application. As you can see, my roots are definitely where the majority of my struggles reside when it comes to the tangles in my hair. It's, it's pretty rough. As I mentioned to previous viewers of my channel, my hair is not just in my mind tangled. I've been to a stylist who has done a consultation on my hair and she said that I have very, very tangled hair, much more tangled than people that she's worked on that have much tighter curl patterns. She said that my hair is just naturally have very sticky strands that makes detangling quite the chore. So my whole life, this has been the story and I've had to find workarounds to somehow make it work. So as you can see, I'm removing a lot of shed hair from my curls with the use of this amazing product. And the moment I used it, I was like, okay, I need a gallon of this. As you can see, it comes in eight ounces, but because again, my hair is so thirsty, so tangled, very, very long and thick, I could totally use this whole bottle in one go. And I didn't want to do that because I wanted to play around with this as a leave-in and as a moisturizer on dry hair. But this stuff, my hair just drank it up. I wanted to use it during my normal, as you can see, I'm like, what, what is this stuff? Like, I want to do a deep dive while I was detangling because I was so impressed. But, ah, no, <laughs> I'm getting flashbacks. I can literally feel that as I'm watching and editing this video. My tangles, as you can see, not only are they a beast to remove, but it hurts. So my faces of pain are a normal part of my detangling routine, unfortunately. And... With my hair just naturally being super, super tangled, I've tried so many different things. I've tried various different tools over the years. I've been natural now with the exception of one year where I was texturized since 2005. So I've tried pretty much everything, you name it. People have suggested a lot of things to me over the years, and I know they're trying to help, but I've tried those things and more. There's a couple of things on my channel that people have recommended to me that I think might be something I can revisit to see if it works, but for the most part, this is the type of thing that works for me. Applying product in layers, slowly removing the tangles layer by layer with each application. The more moisturized my hair is, the easier I can start to remove those bunched up tangles. And once my curls start to separate and loosen like this, we start to really make some progress. So with finger detangling, I'm able to really get to the root and take my time without breaking my hair. So although I see all these awesome videos of people using the unbrush and all these other cool combs and things, they just don't work for me. They usually cause more harm than 
been good for my hair. So what has worked for me over these past 10 years from detangling is applying product to dry hair. Even if I add water to my hair, the water will cause my strands to swell up and make the tangles even harder to remove. So it's always something. So I will usually use products with a high water content and that seems to work for me when it comes to detangling. And this product from Curls and Potions, the ingredients as I mentioned are awesome. I'll make sure to leave the full listing down in the description box. But just to give you an idea of some of the ingredients, we've got fermented rice water as the first ingredient, aloe vera juice, which is awesome for me when it comes to hydration, shine, and moisture. All things that are very, very needed when it comes to detangling. The shine is just an awesome bonus. Starting to see my length return, see some detangling process. In addition to the aloe vera and fermented rice water, it also has marshmallow root, which is helping me to remove those little pockets of shed hair that have just been hanging out right at my roots. So as you can see here, here's a comparison of the side I haven't detangled versus the side that I have already started on. As you can see, it's super, super hydrated. My curls are much more alive and not as dry. And again, when I start getting my length back, that means that I am helping to remove those shed hairs and tangles and mats that are at the roots that are kind of hiding my length. So once I see some progress there, I know that I'm able to start to move on to my other sections. With my hair, it's never fully detangled. The only time that it's ever almost 100% detangled is when it's straight. My hair is curly. I try to get it to maybe like 85% detangled and kind of like, okay, we're good to go and move on because if not, I could detangle for like five hours straight and I still probably wouldn't get every tangle. So in addition to the fermented rice water and aloe vera juice, this product also has marshmallow root, which is fantastic for slip and detangling. I'm currently almost at the end of my marshmallow root challenge where everything I use this month, I need some of <laughs> this magical stuff to help me to even separate this section because it was so, so matted. But marshmallow root has been in every product that I've used for the month of May and my hair has really really enjoyed it And just that amount of product I'm already noticing I'm able to help to separate my curls are starting to soften and it just makes such a big difference I need this in a salon size. This is an instant holy grail for me I just have never found a product in many instances where the moment I apply it to my hair it makes such a such a difference and because my hair is on another level of just giving me grief when it comes to detangling, I can really notice the products that stand out above the rest that make a big difference. So this is where we are even with an awesome product like this. So can you guys imagine when I use a crappy product? It is no fun. This isn't fun either, but this product definitely helped a lot when it came to this very stressful, very normal detangling session for me. It's also got slippery elm, chia seed extract, acai powder, which is what gives it that amazing, amazing scent. Honey, avocado oil, squalene, glycerin, quinoa protein, just awesome stuff. So again, full ingredient list and link to this product down below. And that is a smile of happiness because once I can start to kind of move my fingers through a section, oh, I've always got a little sneaky tangle in there though before I can get too excited. But for the most part, when I can start to move my fingers with relative ease through my sections, I know that I'm making some progress. This product is making quick work of those tangles that I come across like that and really helping with the mats that are a little bit more serious at the roots. This is a product that I could use as my sole detangler if I had it in a huge container. That's how much I love this stuff. The ingredients are higher quality than what I normally use for detangling. I usually use a cheapy conditioner that I can get from like the drugstore and my slip boosters for detangling. And they do a really good job, but this has high quality ingredients that are not only great for detangling my hair, but also are giving me a different level of healthy benefits, it feels like. My hair felt like I was deep conditioning it as I was detangling it. So this stuff is just liquid gold. I love it so, so much. I did try it a few different ways. After recording this video, I tried it as a leave-in conditioner. That's actually what I have in my hair right now as I'm editing, and my hair feels absolutely fantastic. Moving on to those last two sections to finish detangling. This process isn't even the full, full detangling. Usually, I will leave a product on my hair and start to do like a first kind of draft <laughs> of detangling and then let the product sit and then finish detangling. And I kind of experiment with that later on in the video, but I was able to do the bulk of my detangling from the initial application of this product. I didn't have to let it sit like I normally do underneath a shower cap. And that's something that I really appreciate because I find I'm able to detangle a little bit better 
when I don't have to let the product sit for quite so long, but not as many products as I use do as well as this. So I can't always do that kind of switcheroo for my routine. But this stuff just, it really helped so, so much. At the end of the video that I still have a decent amount of product left, even though I've tried it several different ways. As you can see, my super, super dry hair drank this stuff up for detangling. But in addition to that, I also use it, as I mentioned, as a leave-in conditioner. It played wonderfully with my gel and my hair looks and feels amazing since I have it in my hair right now. As you can see, sometimes I also have to close my eyes to detangle because some of those tangles, y'all, they hurt my soul. They hurt real bad. So closing my eyes kind of helps a little bit with the pain. I also used this on dry hair, which I already knew was going to be fantastic because I had got a crash course in how this stuff does on dry hair from this detangling process that we're watching. So I used it to slick my hair back into a bun and a ponytail, and it gave me some instant hydration that helped me to go a little bit longer before having to wash and detangle all over again because my hair still looked and felt really good due to that boost of moisture from this product. I'm going to say it again. I need this in at least a salon size. This stuff is magical. One of the best products I've tried in a very, very long time. I could definitely see this getting into like top 10 of all time category for me. So as you'll notice in this very, very detailed, painful, no holds barred detangling video, with me and my detangling routine, it is all about repetition. I'll add a bit of product to each section. I will separate, smooth, do whatever I need to do to help to slowly remove tangles, rinse and repeat. Not actually rinse, of course. But then I'll add more product and do the same process over again until I can move my fingers through my hair with relative ease and start to see some progress. And one of the things I look for is right here. When my curls start to individually separate, I know that they are starting to be separated from those walls of tangles that I usually have within each section, which leads to my hair being pretty much matted, especially at the roots. So when things start to separate, I know that, okay, we're chipping away at it, slow and steady with the whole tangled situation. And I definitely envy people who have a much easier go of it when it comes to detangling. I've tried so many things, but as I mentioned, even when my hair is straight, even when it was relaxed, my hair was incredibly, incredibly tangled. And that's just, that's just part of the deal for me when it comes to my curls. And I think a common misconception is that people, whenever I mention how tangled my curls get, they will say things like, oh, your curl pattern is kind of on the looser side. So it's hard to believe that your hair tangles. They'll say it in like a much less, you know, chill version. They'll be like, your hair is not that tangled. It's not that serious. I'm like, are you with me in the, in the bathroom detangling? No, you don't know my struggle. <laughs> you don't know my story. So I definitely find that my curl pattern has nothing to do with my hair when it comes to taking care of it. It is all about the fact that my curls are very coarse, very dry, very thick, and just very, very tangled for some reason. It's just how it's been my whole life. So I just have found that this routine more than any other over the past almost, gosh, how long have I been natural now? Almost 20 years. What is happening? Time needs to chill out. But in all the time that I've been natural, this has been the routine that's been the most gentle on my hair, the way that I've been able to get the most tangles out of my hair, and just the least painful, despite what all my faces in this video will show you. It used to be a lot worse when I was using detangling tools, detangling under the shower. Most of the things that people would give you as advice when it comes to detangling just don't work for me and make things worse. So all this, this process takes forever, and it's super, super tedious. It's the best for me, and... Until I find something different that works better than this, it's kind of kind of been my go-to for all this time. I am planning to experiment with a couple of things in the coming months for the summer when it comes to my hair. Adding a little bit more product, as you can see, on this crown area where I tend to get a lot of breakage, dryness, and tangles. I just wanted to concentrate this stuff while I am marinating under my shower cap. Then we are going to be... My hair felt so, so good after I removed my shower cap, you guys. I could have, I briefly thought about what would happen if I just went and left my hair just like this. I hadn't shampooed or anything at this point. Remember, this is the first thing I put in my hair. But it looked so good that and felt amazing to the point where I was like, what if I just do a real cute little voluminous wash and go with this? So I will definitely experiment with that in the future. 
But as far as the changes in my routine, I'm going to be doing a lot of protective styling in the next couple months. See if that helps me with tangles. And I did, despite everything I said earlier, I did get another hair tool that I'm going to be doing a video on. But I don't have high hopes. I've tried so many that I might even return this because I've been down this rodeo so many times before with viral, really popular hair tools and they just don't work for me. So we'll see you guys. But when it comes to adding a little bit of warm water at this point is what I decided to do so I could just see what this product would look like when it comes to detangling. In addition to using it on dry hair, which is my normal detangling routine, I did want to add a little bit of water to see what would happen. And I do think that adding a small amount of warm water did help me to get a little bit extra detangling and help this product to further penetrate and move through my strands, which is something that I always need because my hair is just tangle 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 so maybe when I use this again if I decide to use it for detangling because I loved it so much as a leave-in and as a moisturizer on dry hair that I don't know if I'm going to use it for detangling every time with the current bottle that I have if I get it in a giant size then it's on I want like a big old size for detangling and then a big old size for using it as a leave-in and a moisturizer so that would be the dream but next time that I do use it for detangling, I will spray my hair a little bit with a light, light misting of warm water just to open up my cuticles and so my super, super thirsty hair won't just like Pac-Man this stuff. I'm giving Cousin It Samara realness right here. Curls and Potions knocked it out of the park with this pre-cleanse primer. It did such an awesome job in helping me to detangle my super, super matted hair. My curls, as I mentioned, are usually this level of tangled, and I just wanted to show you guys the reality of it. The pain, the struggle, like, I didn't want to cut out the stuff that I normally do for this video. Just in case you are like me and have an extra, extra crazy level of tangles that not a lot of people can relate to. So I just want to let you know that you are not alone. I'm right there with you with our detangling faces and everything. This is definitely, as I mentioned, a holy grail. I did not use nearly as much as I thought that I did. I have enough for even another application, maybe as a leave-in. And I'm definitely going to be using this with some warm water if I detangle with it again. I would love to see this, as I mentioned so many times in this video, hoping that I will conjure it up in reality. This in a salon size, I would have one for detangling and one for a leave-in and on dry hair to use because it's just that good. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you very soon in the next one. Take care. Bye.